there was once a point in my life where I didn't produce anything. Man, I was just another consumer playing religious. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it, in them trenches, handling that kingdom business. Man, in today's video, I wanna talk to you about, you know, setting yourself free, you know, to the point where you can learn how to sustain yourself just as the old generation was able to do. You know, man, it was probably a good eight years that went by being in the military where at one point I had upwards of 50, 60 pairs of shoes, Nikes, Jordans, whatever was trending. And when I look back on what I got out of that, what, you know, what came from that, it was next to nothing. You know, if I would have been without food, even when I, my, even when money was tight, man, I couldn't look at them shoes and take a bite out of them. It wasn't yielding anything back. And all praise to the Most High when I was able to, to start learning and be around brothers who, you know, were country boys where I grew up in the city and didn't, uh, didn't learn some of these ways. You know, there was plenty of people that I started, you know, gravitating around and man, they grew up on farms, they grew up on homesteads, they grew up on land. Where I grew up in the city where the only growing people did was flowers. You didn't have people really growing food, growing vegetables and fruits. But man, I would go I would get paid, that money would hit my account, and all I was thinking about was, man, let me get something to wear to the club, let me get these new shoes, all to look good in front of other people. And I tell you now, man, you know, if that's what you do, that's up to you. But I'm telling you, there will be a time when your readiness and preparedness will be tested. Will be tested. And I'm so glad when I started obeying the word and I'm looking at all these parables, sowing seeds. Only thing I had heard about sowing a seed in church was giving some money. But man, it'd it be, I'd get off work at like three on a Friday. I'd be at the mall by five, giving Jordan, giving Nike the money. And I tell you now, for a lot of those shoes, $200, all of this, man, getting into the mindset of being able to produce something for yourself, not only is it a, is it a great experience, not only does it yield actual fruit and by their fruit you shall know them, you know, man, I'm able to sustain my family. We're able to truly eat organic stuff without having to worry about has it been messed with? Has it been contaminated? X, Y, and Z? No, we're able to get back to those old paths that just 100 years ago, people had to do, you know? And it's one of the biggest blessings, man, to go out there and see so much fruit coming on the vine, to see all your stuff growing. You got bell peppers, jalapenos, tomatoes, watermelon, Man, I get excited about that stuff now. Whereas nobody's able to warp my mind and deceive me, get me to uh, believe that if I give them $20, that's sowing a seed versus me actually planting a fruit tree, planting some okra, planting some green bean. It's a night and day difference, man. And uh, I'm glad that I was able to come out from among them and it started with one bag of soil that was like four bucks. 
you know, and a pack of seeds. That was pretty much it. It wasn't, wasn't too complicated, but that was the transition that, you know, I made three years ago and it has been one of the best transitions ever. You know, if I go buy shoes now, I buy them because I need them. You know, my PT shoes, they're wearing out. But instead of wearing these shoes and all of that, man, I pretty much wear boots. I can wipe them off, go where I need to go, and then I also can work out of them, dual purpose. Man, that's just a little bit about my testimony as going from a avid consumer to a consumer that buys for the purpose of being a producer. Closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.